Hi guys, welcome back to the shack. Um, I thought I'd give this little uh, amplifier another test. Um, bought it from Amazon with one of those donut loops for like about 20 quid and tested it on HF on shortwave and you may have seen the video. Performance was horrendous. Um, and obviously I was comparing it against the Wilbur loop, which back in the day used to sell for, you know, two, 300 pounds or more. Um, and it's only 20 quid, but if you're buying a device that it's specified to operate as an amplifier and high impedance converter from 10 kilohertz to 180 megahertz, then it kind of ought to be fit for purpose. So it wasn't unreasonable to look at how it performed, you know, around, I think it was 11.8 megahertz, the signal that I, the target signal I was using to compare. Um, and the noise floor on this was about 50 dBm higher than a Welbert loop, which is horrific. Remember, the decibels of scale is logarithmic, massively noisy compared to a Wellbrook, uh, although obviously much cheaper. Um, so I uploaded that video and I've just up, I've just posted another video where I tried to get a decent copy of BBC Radio 5 Live on medium wave, 693 kHz, and it can't even deliver um, a, a fully quietening signal uh, from, from as, yeah, from BBC Radio 5 Live, which is also ridiculous. So for those of you who know me, who know me well, um, know me to be fair. I'm, I won't just trash a product um, without giving it a chance. So I've decided to give it another chance, uh, higher frequency, this type of antenna, um, quite often uh, deliver better signal to noise, but higher frequencies, they don't, have a tendency not to work so well on HF. So to give it a chance, I have tuned to um, the Bryce Norton ATIS. So that's air traffic information system where, which basically just delivers like weather and related information sort of 24 hours a day. And um, although this ATIS signal is published to be I think it's 126.505 megahertz. Um, I actually found it on 124. Point, oh, sorry, 126.4999 uh, megahertz. <clears throat> so same deal. Um, I'm using the excellent uh, SDR Play RSP Duo. Um, <clears throat> so what I've actually got is signal coming in via the RF splitter. And then on one side, I've got um, the signal coming through without the amplifier. And on the, on the uh, other side, uh, I have the signal coming through, uh, sorry, one, one side with the amplifier in circuit and the other side identical, um, but with, without the amplifier. And with the RSP Dura, of course, being a dual tuner, I can observe the received signals. Uh, by the way, the, the antenna I'm using is, I'm actually using an indoor antenna, um, a sort of wide band uh, VHF antenna that covers air band. So on the top, you can see the spectrum scope um, with the um, amplifier in circuit, and then underneath, is the same signal, target signal, without the amplifier. So let's have a listen without the amplifier first. So I'll just unmute. Those of you listening carefully will have just heard the Bryce Norton ID. So I've got audio, it's not great. Um, it's an indoor antenna um, and Bryce Norton is a few miles away. So, but I've got audio and it's clear enough um, to copy. If you actually look at the noise floor without the amplifier on 126.5 megahertz, give or take, the noise floor is down at about minus 140 dBm, which is really excellent. And I've got a signal to noise ratio of about 
seven point x to one. So the amp the intensity of the signal that we the target signal is seven times above the noise floor. Uh, and this is without an amplifier, straight through from the um, vertical antenna in the corner of the shack. Um, if you compare that to the spectrum scope above, if I just turn the amplifier off for a second, you can see, there it goes, and turn it back on. And as you can see, we also have a signal, but um, if I unmute, So basically no audio at all with the amplifier. We've got the RF gain on both channels set to the same uh, value. We've got signal strength without the amplifier of about S6.5 and with the amplifier it's just over S7 but uh, crucially whereas the noise floor as I said is down at about minus 140 dBm without the amplifier with the amplifier it's uh, it's just above minus 130 uh, dBm so it's more than 10 dBm higher and as you can see uh, from the water pool below it and no audio so so this amplifier doesn't work on medium wave and it doesn't work on short wave and it doesn't work on uh, airband. So, you know, what to do. So, if let's try FM. Let's try the FM broadcast band. So, let's if we go to uh, BBC Radio 4, which is, uh, I think it's, is it 90? Let's just crank this up. Uh, it's 93.9, isn't it? For, for BBC Radio 4. I, if I remember right, yeah, okay, here we go. So let's go to BBC Radio 4 on um, 93.9 on both channels. I mean, if it can't handle this, then there really is a problem. Uh, 93.9. Okay. Right, okay. So let's go to... Um, FM demodulation on both channels, FM demodulation. Uh, yeah, let's just set the filter, audio bandwidth filter to maximum on both. Um, I'll switch the noise reduction off, I think. I don't need that. Okay, so now let's compare how the audio sounds. So we start without the channel, without the amplifier. Gain from Chinese spies. Amid groans and murmurs about Russian money, Lady Taylor rose to give her a ticking off. I don't think it's at all helpful when we're just... Nothing wrong with that. And then with the amplifier. Uh, political accusations about where uh, the money has come from, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, it all parties have evidence of other, what other parties have done. I think we've got to take this issue with the seriousness that it deserves. So fairly clear, but not fully quiet. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to switch the amplifier off and see what happens. Hang on. Now, Muslim and Jewish MPs have criticised calls for a ban on animals. It follows a petition to Parliament which describes culling animals without stunning them as barbaric. This report contains some graphic details so not a perfect signal. Um, let's just go back to the non-amplified version. ...in England state that all animals must be stunned before slaughter to minimise... Yeah, so better. So if you look at the numbers, so the, uh, without the amplifier, we have a signal to noise that's very stable around about 25 dBs. Um, OK, just gone to 28.6. Uh, without the amplifier. With the amplifier, we've got a signal to noise of about 16, 15, 16 dB. So the signal to noise is much lower um, with the amplifier. Um, the noise floor is about minus 118 dBm with the amplifier, but it's about minus 128 uh, without it, so the noise floor is higher. Um, 
with the amplifier. Now the signal is almost peaking plus 30, not far off plus 30 with the amplifier. Without the amplifier, it's actually peaking above plus 30. So yet another example um, of how this amplifier isn't really doing its job at all. Um, Actually, before I change frequency from the um, from the air from the air band uh, signal, um, when I was talking about SNR, I may have said seven to one uh, signal to noise, but obviously it's not that; it's in dB. So, yeah, superb audio. I've got is it? I've got twenty kilohertz. No, nineteen uh, nineteen point one kilohertz audio bandwidth. Uh, same. Uh, yeah, same audio bandwidth, so just under 20 kilohertz audio bandwidth, superb to audio. To the brain causing unconsciousness after excruciation. Without the amplifier. Electrical stunning used on sheep, calves and pigs. An electrical current is passed through the brain, temporarily rendering... And a little bit of noise with. So, so there you go. So another demonstration to indicate how this little amplifier doesn't do what it's supposed to do. It increases the overall noise um, and worsens the signal to noise, which is obviously what's important. So um, thank God it was only 20 pounds. Uh, my advice would be to steer well clear and um, don't, don't waste your money. But nevertheless, an interesting experiment. And if I can think of another target signal, um, I'm trying to figure out give this thing a chance and try and figure out where on HF or VHF or UHF um, I might be able to demonstrate that this amplifier is actually better with it in circuit than with no ampli amplification at all. So far I've failed. Um, but have a think about it. Um, but in the meantime, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was maybe um, useful. If not, you know, uh, and obviously interesting as well. So uh, once again, thanks for watching and 7-3.